Uh, now we are going to talk about gardening. Uh, we're going to talk about house plants on the gardening hour because did you know there's a company called Grow My Wellbeing based here in the county, and it is going from strength to strength. Uh, the business is owned by Chantelle Dawson, who wants to spread the word on the power of house plants to improve mental health and well-being. Hi, Chantel. Good morning. Good morning. So tell me about uh, Grow My Wellbeing. Sure, great. So Grow My Wellbeing is um, my small business that I started. Well, it started in the COVID pandemic, really, because, I mean, I, I've always loved plants. I grew up in South Africa, which is quite an outdoorsy way to live anyway. So I was always surrounded by plants and nature. But, um, you know, living in the UK, um, the, we the weather is really different. Um, our gardens are really different to what it is in South Africa. But it was the COVID pandemic that really made me um, appreciate the mental health benefits that houseplants can bring. I have two young boys, so I was homeschooling them. But at the end of every homeschooling day, I found myself going to my plants. I would propagate, I would water, I would repot, get my hands dirty. And I found it such a uh, mindful this process of touching and smelling and feeling and just my connection to nature. And then I thought, if I find all of these benefits to indoor planting, then surely some other people must do as well. So I created some kits for people to start off their gardening journey by propagating my own house plants and in your kit you get all of your five soil elements and you get house plant soil bark um, so it's a really nice sensory touch you get perlite which is quite gritty to hear and to touch um, so you get all of these sensory elements um, to help your mental health and just to switch off whilst you're planting um, and that's how my business started really as a mental health benefit um, to plant indoors and I think a lot of people felt that during lockdown. It, it, uh, people fell in love again with their gardens and, you, you know, people that had never shown an interest in houseplants before suddenly did. Um, and, and do you think that's continued? Absolutely. I think, um, you know, indoor plants... It are just as popular as, as outdoor plants. I think, you know, for, for some people, they might not have the outdoor space. They might not have a garden to go into. We've got really lovely parks um, and things to, you know, spend some time in. Mm. But I think in your home, I think house plants don't just look good. They're not just, you know, pretty in a, in a house, but they bring so many mental health benefits. So the colour green, for example, is just a feeling of peace and mindfulness and calm so I do think definitely especially in offices um, mm. house plants are really really popular because there's so many benefits to bringing nature indoors they the trouble with house plants is that sometimes they I I do I really like house plants but there's I've been put off sometimes by buying them on account of them being quite expensive and they're not actually <laughs> knowing you know there's always that fear that you're going to kill it basically yeah. and then that feels like money down the drain doesn't it yes yes absolutely so there are some really um alternative ways that you could get into indoor planting um mm. you know the first is to is to propagate so to, to take a cutting if you don't have any plants um, you know, there must be a friend or, um, you know, someone who might have a plant that you could take a cutting from, uh, pop it into water so that the roots can grow. And then you've got your own brand new plant. Um, if you want to add to your collection, propagate more. You can gift it to friends as well. Yeah. Another good way to get new plants is to do, you know, to swap your plants, especially if there is a plant that perhaps you're not getting on with, you don't know how to care for it, you want a different plant, a plant swap is a really good idea. Um, and, you know, just, yeah, swap and cut and prop and create your own little indoor jungle that way, rather than, if you're not sure if you're quite new to indoor gardening, rather than spending an absolute fortune on on um, plants, is just to start small and then grow your own. I was looking um, on your website and there's some really interesting tips and things that I just hadn't thought of, like cleaning them, cleaning your house yeah. plants. Yes, yes. So I always encourage um, my clients to clean their houseplants. Now, 
there's a really simple way that I use to clean my houseplants. Um, I'll talk about the reason why I clean them first. Mm. Um, if you look closely on the leaves, you'll see that, you know, dust might gather in your plant leaves. Um, and that creates almost um, a filter. And it almost stops the plant from photosynthesizing, so creating their energy from the sun. But if you remove that layer of dust, then the plant um, is more likely to grab more energy from the sun, um, you know, able to grow better and an easy way that I do it perhaps just you know every I don't know you don't need to do it that often um, every two weeks every month mm. even is just grab a, a microfiber cloth or even a damp kitchen towel and just wipe your leaves and remove that layer of dust and you'll immediately see the impact that it has because you've got really lovely shiny leaves um, and it just makes a huge difference to the plant health as well. And I just, find it really quite therapeutic to sit there and just to focus on that one thing at a time, mm. uh, touching this leaf and wiping it, it just switches my mind off completely, and that's quite a mental health benefit, I would say, just to focus on that one thing at a time. Absolutely, and I just hadn't thought about cleaning houseplants. I, I don't know why. You see, it, now you've said it, it sounds obvious. But uh, uh, what about watering as well? Because a couple of my houseplants are looking a little bit ropey after some fairly hot weather. Um, should we be watering them much more? Or Yes, yeah, so I would recommend watering more in the summer, but less in the winter. Um, yeah. But then they say don't overwater, and that's where I start exactly. panicking. Exactly. Um, I would. I would actually always recommend to water less than to water more, because if right. you water too much, the roots of your plant can get waterlogged. Um, you'll get root rot, and your plant will die. However, if you water a little bit less, not to the point where your plant is crispy and dry mm. and and dead but to the point of maybe it's shriveling a little bit maybe there's a bit of a sign that it needs water um because you can all you're always likely to bring a plant back um by watering it but if it's overwatered and there's root rot there's no likeliness of it coming back right i actually use something called um a moisture meter um now i i, I think some people don't get on with it as, as much they don't maybe trust it as much but i really rate them and i it's it's a it's a metal stick with a gauge at the top mm. you can get any shop really or if you google moist plant moisture meter um you stick it into the soil and it just tells you the gauge tells you whether it's dry whether it's um moist in the middle or whether it's uh, wet and I use that gauge to really tell me especially with bigger plants if I can't quite get my fingers into the soil deep enough or I don't quite know you know if it's dry or, or wet a moisture meter is a really good way if you're unsure to check your soil um, whether it needs a, a drink or not Oh, I like this. I might, I might invest in a moisture meter. Very good. Yeah. Um, Chantelle, it's a fascinating subject. If people want to find out more, um, if they want to follow you for, for some hints and tips, where, where can they find all the details? Yes, yeah, sure. I have a website. So I'm www.growmywellbeing.co.uk. Um, I'm also on Facebook. So if you search Grow My Wellbeing, um, also Instagram, um, the handle is at grow underscore my underscore wellbeing. Um, I, I truly believe that, you know, I'm not just... Um, you know, selling plant bundles or plants, I do think that it's really beneficial to educate people on plants. So I put yeah. loads of plant tips and techniques and things to look out for when you care for your house plants on my Facebook and Instagram pages, sometimes on my website as well. So if people are unsure about keeping and caring for plants, there's loads of tips on my pages. So feel free to go and follow and uh, any questions, always just drop me a message. I'm always happy to talk about plants. Fantastic. I can feel a houseplant special coming on on the gardening yeah. hour. Uh, yeah. Chantelle, thank you so much for now. It's absolutely fascinating to hear about. Uh, that's Chantelle Dawson there from uh, Grow My Wellbeing with some top houseplant tips.